Hey guys, back at the off-grid project. I uh, basically was supposed to start working on the roof, but I gotta put that off until I find some land because I won't be able to move the trailer until I have some land. So I can't really build on top or we'll, it'll end up being ripped off at intersections on street lights. <laughs> so basically what I did today I sealed up any possible leak zones. Um, this this one here was the one on the prior video that was leaking. So I picked a day that it wasn't raining and started sealing everything up. I took about three big cans of spray foam and sealed in all the little cubby holes in the framing. And then I'll have to buy uh, the actual real spray foam to finish in between the joints and all well, the frames up here. And I also wanted to show you my idea for the flooring. So, I got an issue here though. Um, I don't know what quite to do with this space. I might have to cut a piece of 2x4 and move it over closer to the spray foam on this side that I sealed up because it's the way the uh, front of the trailer is it angles on a curve here it goes around so it's pretty hard for the wood to conform to that so I have to figure this out um, the reason this foam board has a piece cut out of it is in a later video I'll show you my redneck air conditioner that I cut that piece out and used for that but this is just gives you an idea of what it's going to be like I won't use this stuff because it's actually only one inch thick I'm going to try and buy two inch pieces because this is only one inch and this gives you an idea of getting the, the floor sorted out here, starting to. This is, this 2x4 is not long enough. I gotta use a, a 12 footer and cut off the excess to be tight to the walls there. But this gives you an idea of what the floor will be look like. And then I'm just gonna sheet it with plywood. And in between these joists here, I will be spray foaming everything so there's no seams and that should keep it pretty warm on the floor in here. Um, eventually, like I said, we're going to have to get this front wall spray foamed as well and the ceiling. So I might even get it priced out, get a quote from a spray foam company or just do it myself, um, which I planned on from the start. Um, depends on the pricing though. Okay, that gives you an update.